so in this video we are going to train a neural network with matlab and so we have this data set where uh, this is an excel file where we have this data set uh, in this data set the first three the, sorry the first six columns of this excel file are the inputs to the neural network and the last column is a output so now how to read this data from matlab first of all so we create a script Now I have to read this excel file, for that I use the xls read, xls read and we write the name of the file, so you can see the name of the file from here, ann data, ann data dot xlsx, now if we run this, uh, we have to save this in the same folder. and we run this so once the program is executed you see this variable z so z has 176 rows and 7 columns so as you can see here uh, here we have 176 rows uh, because uh, if we um, if we exclude the header we have 176 rows, rows and 7 columns but everything has been loaded to this variable z Now see, this is already a randomly distributed data set, but if we want to further randomize it or if our data set is not already randomized, then it is always uh, better to split the data set into strain and uh, test. So I take this variable n, n equal to rand perm 176. So 176 is the size. So now this rand perm will generate the set from 1 to 176 but in a random order so each time you run this code so it will be a different order now i create the input train so input train will be z of n so let's say for the training data set i use uh, 120 120 120 samples so the first six columns then for input train so input target train <coughs> so this will be seven the last column similarly input test is z n 121 to end 1 to 6 and target test z and 121 to end 7 so our data set is generated so if i run this i have this data set input test input train target test and target train so you can see the input test has 56 rows and 6 columns input train has 120 rows and 6 columns so i will be training this network with this 120 data and i'll test with this 57 56 so i call the neural network tool and then start so i use the fitting app or the fitnet now here you can see here now if i go for input test and so input train and uh, target train now you can see there is a problem it shows that this is six samples of 120 elements so i can use matrix rows instead so 120 samples of six elements but again uh, this will create some problem at the time of testing the network so it is always better to handle it here only so i use the transpose operator to make sure that this problem does not arise so now i will transpose 
now I use input train and target train you can see now it is 120 samples of 6 elements that means there are 6 um, L, uh, six neurons in the input layer of this, mat this neural network and one neuron at the output layer now let's leave everything the default setting this is the number of hidden layers 10 so it is creating the network and now this is the we can um, choose the training algorithm so this is, we can select it but let's leave everything the default setting and train the network so the network is being trained and now I use this next next so here we can okay so we have trained the network and finally we can generate the simple script and actually this is the script in which we are going to do our operations now see x equal to input train and t equal to target train this is how the network is created so what I can do now is that I save this file in the same folder let's say neural network test ok so what I do here I bring this lines of the code and paste it here at the top now this input train and input target train these things are already here so here few net what more we can do is so we can actually show all the plots and see what happens we run this So we have the plots. Uh, this is the okay. So these are the plots. Uh, this is your the training. Uh, this is your performance plot for training, validation, and test. These are all the error histogram and the regression analysis. Okay. Now, if we want to apply the data or a test data set, so what will you do? So I write another cell. So applying the network on test data set. So for that, uh, before that, I close this training window and this one. I can uh, close all the windows here because I no longer need them. So now if I train this okay so now what I do this input test and target test these two we are going to use so what I do here output test equal to net input test then we can do suppose I want to see the error so I can use the MSA function mean square error so what I have to use this target target test and target test and output test I can plot the plot the regression regression plot regression of these two target and output and I can also we can use uh, because this this does not we, we cannot plot this because this is a when there are there is a multi-dimensional input we cannot plot this so let's just ignore it so you can see this regression and analysis is almost same and if you look at the error it is also almost same and uh, we can see the performance here so what is the performance uh, performance net t comma y so instead of that we use performance net uh, instead of t we will use target test and 
this will be output test y so you can see the performance so this is the performance of the train training and performance of testing so we can see all these parameters and for this data set you can see this time the performance is slightly better for both training and testing so by looking at the regression plot we can say that this time it is slightly better so now what I can do is when the performance is good what I can do is I can save this neural network I can save use save function so suppose I name, name it as uh, trained net and I save this net so now this file is created the train net dot mat and we can later on use this so if I now want to use this so you can see here so let's um, remember this performance and I clear everything I clear everything but now I use now I use uh, this data this, this part I just want to code this part of the code so for that what I do is I uh, run this section so it is evaluate current section no not this. It is one evaluate selection so once I do this only that part is run and now you can see if I have net now if I do this because this net is already there so if I use load uh, train net then this net train network appears here and if we run this code this part so to select this part we can just uh, select here and press control enter and we can see that we get almost the same result the same network is saved and the performance also almost same because we use the same network now how to see the elements of the network net so you can see here so this is the network here so the network the, this is a function fitting neural network so number of inputs is one number uh, number of layers this is, this is one input layer and total number of layers is two and number of output layers is one there are total 81 weights so how is it 81 so if you look at this part the weights IW this is the input weights so we will see this three these three variables so you see here net dot IW so you can say there is a 10 by 6 double that means in the hidden layer because see in the input layer there are 10 in the input layer there are 10 sorry 6 neurons and in the hidden layer there are 10 neurons so the network will look like this from these 6 neurons there will be one path to each of the 10 neurons in the hidden layer so there will be 10 by 60 double so these are all the weights there will be 60 number of weights so if I have this 1 so this is the matrix weight matrix so these are the weights of the input from input layer to hidden layer so from every input neuron there will be one connection to every human every neuron in the hidden layer and there will be total 60 number of weights now if you look at this these are the input weights then lw lw means from the from the layer weight from the hidden layer to the output layer because in the output layer there are let's see this dot lw so you can see here here we have this one 1 by 10 because from 10 there will be from 10 um, 10 neurons in the hidden layer there will be one connection to each of the neurons in the output layer 
since there is only one network in one neuron in the output layer so there will be 10 so we can see this net dot iw iw to remember these are cell errors so i use this curly braces to call sorry this is lw you can see these are the there are 10 weights and now let's look at the biases so these are the biases dot b this is the biases 2 by 1 cell array so i write net dot b so you can see the biases so in the um, hidden layer there will be 10 biases corresponding to every because you can see for the hidden layer i have net dot b 1 so these are the 10 biases of the neurons of the hidden layer and this minus 1.3024 is the bias of the output layer so in this way we can check all the um, weights and biases of the network